Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another What's in Your Energy spread for you all. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have Capricorn in your chart. Very important to remember, this will not resonate with all Capricorns out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it is not your story, my lovelies, it is simply not your story. Please, please, please do not force it, as sometimes on this channel, I go into a lot of deeper things and very, very um, specific, such as childhood trauma, generational curses, and how to break them. So let's see what we got going on, Capricorn. I missed you all so very much. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, staying healthy with all these crazy transits in the planet. Planets. So let's see what we got going on. I'm going to use my Stranger Things deck. Yes, I love it. I love it. All right, let's see what we got going on, Capricorn. It's been so long. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Ooh, I just heard stalker. <gasps> Capricorn, I just heard like people are watching you, like stalker, stalker vibes. Let's see what we got. All right. Ooh, crazy, crazy. All right. All right, Capricorn, this is your energy. This is your surrounding. This is the mutual, most likely outcome or what's to come. Remember, this will not resonate for all Capricorns. So if it is not your story, I can't elaborate enough. Please, please, please don't force it, okay? Ooh, your energy is like on fire right now. This one is specifically. So over here in your energy, Capricorn, you have the chariot, the ace of spokes, which is the ace of cups, the ten of scoops, ten of pentacles in reverse and the four of cups in reverse. Okay, so... I feel like there's a lot of love that you're letting in. It doesn't have to be with a lover or a spouse or a relationship. Um, there's a lot of love coming in, but I think it might be affecting your money, if I'm being honest, all right? Cancer energy, Pisces energy, Capricorn energy, you're already there. Some of you feel like you're kind of... Um, falling off your game in terms of career or money or maybe you just want more than what you have at the moment the chariot here is forward movement all right some of you it's almost like you you're taking it slow it's forward movement but you're also i feel taking it very slow in a sense like you want to Make sure you're enjoying life on the way to whatever it is that your light is calling towards you, right? What does that say? Welcome to Hawkins. All right. Um, I feel like some of you are feeling very charismatic. Like if someone's new in town, you want to show them a good time. Some of you are thinking about moving possibly. Um, some of you will move, whether you know it or not in the future. Some of you are going to move. Um, I'm getting strong Washington and Portland vibes. Um, Oregon, possibly, maybe. I, I'm just getting like the peninsula, you know, like the Pacific Northwest vibes. I'm also getting Massachusetts. Doesn't have to be, but some of you are definitely resonating with that or want to move forward I don't know there's something about moving all right the chariot is about forward movement but it's also moving from one place to another so I definitely feel like you guys are making progress especially when it comes to the love department or your your mental and emotional well-being ace of spokes is that overflowing love overflowing contentment overflowing um, emotion like you're finding the good in everything, the silver lining. You're trying to find the silver lining in anything and everything that you're doing. You're loving yourself. You're trying to really love your life. Some of you are quite literally feeling yourself. There's going to be a major refreshment moment when it comes to your season. You see how those look like fall vibes and then here we turn green. Green is money and Capricorn, you all are the epitome of green right because you are we all know capricorn is the most stable <laughs> right um in any term that you want to take that so i definitely feel cap that 
you're trying to live your best life at the moment, right? You're trying to find the good. You're trying to find the silver lining. Even if it, even if at times you feel like you're not always on your game or not as stable as you want to be or as um, healthy career-wise or financially, um, that's okay. I think some of you are really releasing a toxic um, relationship that you have with money or with stability or with uh, career, right? Some of you are learning the balance with career and home life or, or living, right? Some of you that are not currently working, you're learning to be okay with that as well. The 10 of scoops in reverse means no long term, no longevity, an unstable career, um, sometimes a broken home or a home that feels like something's missing. All right. Like here you have excess Capricorn. We know you love excess things, right? Or, or maybe material things or the good life, right? But you're learning to be okay when even if the funds or stability or things are uncertain, you're learning to say that's okay. The four of cups in reverse means I'm going to find the good in everything, like outside, right? Like if there's nothing to do inside, I'm going to go outside and have scotch or something, you know, like you're finding the good. In reverse, this means no longer feeling disappointed, no longer feeling sad, no longer feeling upset, no longer letting this or anything else take you out of your energy to feel good and feel good about your life, Capricorn, okay? I feel that strongly that you are developing a more healthy relationship with yourself as well as... um your endeavor is moving forward, right? And maybe money is not the goal anymore. Maybe it's all about the ride, right? <laughs> Over here in your mutual energy, I'm hearing that song Climb by Miley Cyrus. Um, I'm feeling that, I'm hearing that, what is it? It's the climb. I don't remember the lyrics. Y'all can put it in the comments if you know. <laughs> but you might want to hear that song and get a message from there if that resonates with you. Over here in your mutual and I'm sorry, your surrounding energy, Capricorn, you have the six of strands, the seven of strands, the fool in reverse, and the king of spokes. All right. There is someone that is very scorned, Capricorn. I don't know who it is. Um... Uh, it was for some of you, it's a lover, an ex-lover, an ex-partner, whatever you want to call it. For some of you, it is an admirer that can't stop looking at you. And for some of you, it's like a family member that you're kind of getting a weird sense of. You know, there's there's people around you that are either overly watching what you do or overly negative and kind of draining your energy. Remember, this is your surrounding, meaning it's trying to come into your energy or it's soon to come. The six of strands, this is the six of wands. You're on your way to the finish line. You're on your way to feeling victorious. That's what this card is, victory, victorious, getting attention, getting admiration, getting recognition, but also crossing that finish line. And Capricorn, I feel strongly like it's <laughs> it's like you're going to get there no matter what, right? You're going to persevere, persevere. Sorry, I'm all tongue-tied, y'all. The planets, there's seven planets in air signs, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, meaning tongue-tied, um, your communication is very heightened right now, and also grounding is very, very needed. Ideas, um, endeavors, entrepreneurship, they're all in your mind right now, and if they are, use it, because this grand air chine with ideas and creativity is going to is going to work in your benefit. Sorry, my stupid camera. <laughs> but the six of strands is working towards that finish line, working towards your victory, your goals, your career, your whatever it is that is for you, your dreams. Green lights. It's go time. It's time to go for it. If you, especially if you're having ideas and creative, um, you know, endeavors in your mind, it's time to roll those out into action. But with the seven of strands, be sure who you're taking along for this ride. I think Virgo just had something very, very similar to this. So if you have Virgo in your chart or you're dealing with a Virgo, go check that one out. Um, but with the seven of strands here, you see how people are noticing your lights. They're noticing your attention. That, remember, this means getting attention, getting admiration, getting recognition. People are taking notice and that not all of them are good for you, okay? 
you see how it's like red like red flags are noticing the lights that you're shining and the trail you're leaving behind towards your success and some of them are quite literally watching every move you make or overly watching you or overly criticizing you or um sorry but some of them are talking smack <laughs> all right i do feel like there is some sort of stalkery vibes here uh someone is feeling scorned i feel strong oh i got the chills yeah someone feels scorned um it could be anyone right it could be a lover a sibling an ex a family member i'm even getting maybe co-workers or, or a boss um Ooh, I got the chills. I got the chills. For some of you, it's just simply people online that are just being creeps. All right. Uh, Capricorn, and you are no <laughs> you are no stranger to that because Capricorns draw attention no matter what they're doing. Um, I just heard close the window. What the heck? I just heard close the window. I feel some I feel weird vibes. Ooh, I got the chills. Ooh, I got the chills. Close the window. All right. I don't know who that resonates for. Don't force that if it's not your story, but something is weird about that. Um especially on Halloween, close the window. All right. I'm feeling weird vibes. But there's an eclipse coming, loves, and I do see that these people are going to show themselves to you. Remember, Libra season, which is what we are in now, is going to reveal your close hidden enemies, right? The people that are in your face pretending to be like they're on your side, but they're false masks, all right? These are your fake hidden close enemies. They're going to reveal themselves with that eclipse coming. You're going to definitely eclipse them out of your energy because I think some of you are kind of sensing who these people are. If they're overly interested in things that you're doing, okay? Just be very careful because we have the fool here in reverse, Aries energy. Aries energy, um, and, and when it's in reverse like this, this is quite literally someone acting a fool, someone acting foolish, someone acting childish, someone who is very um, timid, okay? This is also meaning that you may be timid to take this leap of faith over here to actually start whatever it is like passion projects or jobs or careers or things that you want to do some of you might be timid to start this to take a leap of faith okay don't be don't be because it's the perfect time but with the full in reverse this also means there is a crazy fool in your energy followed by the king of spokes i'm getting obsessive energy someone's very obsessive or very stalkery i don't know why all right it might be a masculine energy doesn't have to be a male remember females can sometimes embody masculine especially in hispanic culture there are female machistas you know like that have that machismo energy um the king of spokes in reverse means someone that maybe you have spokes are, are cups. Cups are emotion, right? Maybe an ex, maybe an ex-lover, maybe an ex-spouse, maybe someone that admires you that you don't admire back. King of spokes in reverse is someone you have no feelings for, someone that you don't hold deeply in your heart or someone that has shown you what they are and there's no love there. I'm hearing that song, No Love by Lil Wayne and Eminem. So you get no love, right? There's someone that's very much so in your energy, Capricorn. Okay, so just be wary of that on your way to your um, dreams, all right? There is someone in your energy trying to come in. In your mutual, most likely outcome or what's to come, you have the strength in reverse and you have the lovers, Leo energy and Gemini energy. This can be about a relationship, right? After, you know, a time or period of stagnancy or maybe ups and downs, things are finally going to get better or feel better at least, right? Strength means holding back. Strength means a weak connection when it's in reverse like this. And it also means... Um, I'm getting like a gut-wrenching feeling. Like, I don't know if I can do this. All right, some of you are feeling like this. Some of you are feeling very nauseous or quite literally physically sick. Um, this eclipse is really, really messing with you guys, okay? This eclipse might be brutal. It might be bringing up some harboring suppressed emotions. Um, but it'll soon be released and you'll soon, you'll soon see why. Some of you have been feeling off your game. 
very, very off your game. You need grounding, right? Go outside, put your bare feet in the ground or, you know, meditate. If you smoke, meditate while you're smoking in the shower. It's, let me tell you. (laughs) But with the strength in reverse, I feel strongly like things have been feeling very wobbly. And maybe you feel like you're not strong enough or, or don't have the willpower to start something new or to continue moving forward with something or someone, but the lovers is here, okay? If this is resonating in a relationship way, things are soon going to get better. Some of you, this is a twin flame connection, right? A karmic partner. If you haven't heard my twin flame podcast, it's in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. It explains exactly what it is. But for some of you that are scared to take that leap of faith over here towards your dreams, towards your goals, towards new ventures, the universe, God, heavenly angels, spirit guides, your ancestors, whoever it is you believe in, they're telling you it's okay. Like it's almost like your angels are looking at you like take the chance, take a leap of faith. I got you for someone a grandmother is a guardian angel, all right? For some of you, a grandmother is your guardian angel. And I feel like they're telling you it's okay to take this leap of faith. Things are slowly falling into place because that's what the lovers is, dreams, right? It's dreams coming together and feeling like things are working in your favor, Capricorn. Things are going to get so much better. And underneath the deck, what you don't see coming, we don't expect the two of strands, meaning you're at a crossroads right now. You're at a crossroads and your next steps, my lovelies, are going to be very very crucial towards your next three years okay two to three years remember 2025 is going to be very very prosperous especially if you're a 90 91 baby um and for the rest of you you're coming towards your your um second house to be popping all right and that's your finances that's your possession that's materialism that's stability that's long you know so give it some time these next steps are going to be very, very crucial in the way your life pans out for the next few years, all right? Be careful because look, ace of scoops, that's overflowing (laughs) opportunity, that's new luck, that's new opportunities, that's new money, that's new career, that's new ideas, that's forward movement, that's good luck. The ace of scoops, you're about to feel very, you're about to get dessert, Capricorn, all right? You're about to eat your dessert. So look at the nine of strands. Don't worry about the past and what's what's hurt you before. Focus on your world now and moving forward. Like I said, there's a grandmother or a grandfather that is your guardian angel that's telling you it's okay to move forward, all right? It's, they're giving you the, the green light pretty much. Quite literally, green light. Remember I said. <laughs> now, if this message is resonating, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. My lovelies, like, share, all that good stuff because... Y'all know when YouTube doesn't update, no one can find my channel. So thank you so much, Kevin. One of my subscribers sent me the Magic of Marble Oracle deck. If you want to send me a deck, my Amazon wishlist is below. Go ahead and choose whichever one you feel drawn to, and we can see what messages come out for you. Let's see what we got going on in the Marvel universe. (laughs) I feel like there's like a magical time for you, Cap. Like, I really do. Let's see. Ooh, Black Panther. Wolverine. Oh my goodness. All right, Wolverine. When I'm alone, I'm in great company. Oh, Capricorn, see, you are quite literally feeling great in your own skin. Even if there's problems in the love in the love area, the family area, things like that, you're learning to love yourself. Like I said, even when I'm alone, I'm in great company. And y'all know Wolverine is a beast. <laughs> he gives me Capricorn vibes, for real, he does, so... I think you're truly learning how to love your life and love the skin you're in. Black Panther, wear the crown with honor. Yes, I feel like one of your ancestors or guardian angels is saying like, mijo or mija, you know what I mean? Like, like whatever it is, however they call you with cariño, with uh, with like love. (laughs) They're telling you it's okay. Like, wear your badge, like use your gifts. Use your gifts before it's too late or before it's gone, right? Things are working in your favor right now. They're giving you the go. Wear the crown with honor because you've been given certain gifts and certain ideas for a reason, Capricorn. So roll with it. Ooh, Deadpool. (laughs) I'm just here for the snacks. 
there's people here just wanting to breadcrumb and, and and follow your what is it ride your coattails capricorn okay someone is definitely watching you it's almost like they're eating popcorn watching you i'm only here for the snacks be careful because there is someone very shysty in your energy okay underneath the deck ooh, cappy iron man what are you really protecting so I think right now is a time to protect your peace, protect your energy, and what are you really protecting? Like, what are you really holding back from, right? Right now is the time to leap forward with anything and everything you've been wanting to do. But that is what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. I am sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you so much, and I will talk to you soon.